It basically follows the same way that I give a massage, um, which is I start at the head and I work the horse in sections. And I work in sections so that I can do one side and then the other of the same area of the horse so I can see if there are any imbalances. So I would start up behind the ears um, with the curry and I would work along the length of the neck, up under the crest, down through the middle of the neck, down along the vertebra at the base of the neck, um, and do that several times until the horse is sort of stretching his neck a little bit and relaxing. And then I work across the muscle fibers. So you want to know, sort of, you can see sort of under the skin which direction the muscles run in. So first you're working along those muscle fibers, their direction, and then you're working at a 90 degree angle across them. And so you're starting towards the ear and then pressing in with your fingers and your palm and then running that brush into those muscles from the ear all the way down back to the shoulder. That's the neck section. I would work first one side and then the other side and then move back to the shoulder and the tricep muscle that comes down into the elbow, the biceps in the front of the shoulder and down into the chest, down into the forearms. Again, running along the muscle fibers and then across them. So it, that depends on which muscle you're working on, which direction you're going in, how you position your hand. Um, then I move back to the back muscles between the uh, withers and the um, point of the hip, right and above, above the angle of the rib and just below where the ligament runs across the spinous processes up at the top. So I don't want to run the curry over any of the hard bony surfaces on the horse because that's uncomfortable, it doesn't feel good and there's no muscle tissue to speak of there anyway that you can do anything with. So I run along the back lengthwise and then up at a sort of an angle between the angle of the rib and the spinous processes at the top and work my way back from the front towards the back. And you're looking for the muscle tissue to soften and get elastic under that brush, under the curry. And you'll know when that happens because the brush will sink in a little bit further. The horse will lean into you um, and you can feel that you're making some progress. Then I work the barrel and the belly of the horse. You need to be a little careful on the belly. Sometimes they're more sensitive there. Um, so you might start a little lighter and then as the horse accepts it, you work in a little bit deeper. Um, and then last but not least, I move to the hindquarters and I work the gluteal muscles over the top and then the muscles between the point of the hip and the hip joint the quadriceps from the stifle up to the hip, and then the hamstrings and the gastrox down in the gaskin. And um, they usually enjoy this. Horses are, are very tactile. They love to be touched. They love to be brushed, usually. Some are more sensitive than others. Um, really, when they're born, the first thing they experience is a massage, when the dam licks them to clean them and stimulate circulation, the lungs, and other bodily functions. So from the very beginning, they're used to being touched and rubbed all over their body. Um, and I find that this grooming technique is, is really useful for helping them relax and, and be ready to work because muscles um, don't come out of a stall ready to work. They need to be warmed up and they should be relaxed before they can really do their work properly. So it's very helpful.